My name is Vasily Vadimov. Uh, I would like to present my talk about my body run, run like zero modes without the systems without gauge symmetry breaking, which was recently published on an archive. The link is available now. The outline of my talk is the following. First, I introduce Kitaev model of 1D topological superconductor and briefly tell you about the experimental realization of topological superconductivity. Then I continue with our original result, which involves a purely interacting quantum many-body system, and then move to conclusions. The history of topological superconductivity begins with uh, a, a pioneer work of Kitaev, where he introduced a chain of spinless fermions, so, which are coupled with the superconducting P-wave pairing, which is described by the following Hamiltonian. This Hamiltonian is purely quadratic and can be diagonalized easily with the Bogolubov transformation, which is shown below and uh, transform to the following form, where we separated one term which corresponds to so-called Majorana zero mode. This mode has uh, extremely low energy, which is exponentially suppressed with uh, the length of the chain, while the other quasi-particles uh, have the energy at least of the value of superconducting gap. Uh, also, the wave function of the quasi particles is uh, localized at the edge of the chain. Uh, and this uh, properties of the chain makes it uh, attractive for using as a uh, base for topological quantum co computations. More precisely, one can use the ground state of such a uh, superconducting chain and excite the state with excited Majorana mode as a qubit. Uh, this is good because uh, other states are separated, well separated by the superconducting gap in energy scale. How do one uh, make uh, such a chain experimentally? The recipe of topological superconductivity is the following. One needs uh, a one-dimensional channel, which is usually realized by a semiconducting nanowire Rashby spin coupling, or spin orbit coupling. Stone Zeeman field and uh, S wave superconductivity. Uh, the Majorana zero modes reveal themselves as peaks of uh, local differential conductance in the, the edges of the wire. Uh, if uh, the wire is uh, short enough, the peak splits apart. Uh, and it was done experimentally. And uh, there, there are many other platforms for realization of topological superconductivity, for example, involving proximity effect with, of superconductor uh, with the topological insulator or chain uh, of magnetic atoms on the surface of s wave superconductivity, but all of them involve superconductivity, in field superconductivity explicitly. But can we have my runners in the system which does not have superconductivity? In the 3D material, superconductivity arises as the result of attractive interaction between the electrons. But what, so what we can do is to get rid of the term which describes pure superconductivity in the Kitaev chain and replace it with a real attractive interaction between the fermions on the neighboring sides. Such a problem can be mapped uh, onto a system of interacting spins with wigner jordan transformation. In such a chain, there is uh, anti-ferromagnetic uh, interaction in XY plane and ferromagnetic interaction between neighboring spins in Z axis. And uh, such a problem, such a system was studied quite extensively since a long time ago and um, the phase diagram of this system is zero temperature phase diagram of this system is well known. If the interaction is strong and attractive, the system falls down into so-called phase separation regime where the ground state of the system is either 
vacuum state or completely filled band depending on the sign, to, sign of the chemical potential. The other side is the interaction is strong and repulsive. Then we have charge density wave uh, ordering or on the spin language anti-ferromagnetic ordering where the fermions occupy um, each second side. And in the middle, we have so-called Thermonogel-Latzinger liquid of uh, interacting fermions. And we are interested in, especially in this part of the diagram where the system is in Thermonogel-Latzinger liquid regime and uh, interaction is attractive. The model, uh, unlike the Kitaev model, this uh, model conserves the number of particles. There is no uh, gauge symmetry bre breaking and there is no superconductivity in uh, such one dimensional system. It is both and that's integrable. So one can uh, construct uh, exact solution using both and that's even with the open boundary conditions we have. And it yields Kitaev model is a mean field approximation. That's why we suppose that there is something which closely resembles my uh, my physics and this system. And then again, unlike Kitaev model in the thermonagulatory the liquid phase, it is gapless. So there is no gap in the spectrum. Unfortunately, this problem is quite complicated and can be solved analytically and no quasi particles are there and we can't write the topological variant but what we can do is to calculate uh, the local density of states which can be brought in the scanning tunneling micro spectroscopy experiment such system and the, the expression for the local density of states is given here it's quite long formula but uh, the picture of the local density of states at site G at frequency omega is shown on the picture. The first row corresponds to the local density of states of the whole chain and the bottom pictures correspond just to zoom of um, the upper pictures. One can see that there is a peak of local density of states at the edges of the chain close to the zero energy. And uh, if we have a short chain of 10 sites, it uh, is, uh, we, we can see the splitting of the peak. For the longer chains, we cannot see it because the energy resolution doesn't allow it. These pictures were uh, obtained by exact diagonalization of the Hamiltonian uh, for the short chain of 10 sites and uh, using Tencent networks for longer chains of 40 sites. Uh, the next question arises, uh, what, how does the splitting of the peak behaves with uh, the length of the system? For Kitaev model, we know it is exponentially decaying. And for this model, we can explicitly evaluate the peak splitting as follows. It's just the energy of the ground state with n, n0 plus one particle plus the energy of the ground state with n0 minus one particle where n0 is the number of particles in the equilibrium minus energy of the ground state itself. So it appears so that it decays as one over L with the length of the chain here, this peak splitting shows is shown for attractive interaction v equal to 1.5 t where t is hopping parameter and uh, for comparison shown the the same quantity for non-interacting chain of fermions of for chain of non-interacting fermions uh, where we of course do not have any Majorana peaks but still we can define such, this quantity and for non-interacting system it is quite obvious that is one over L because it's just level spacing at the Fermi level the Fermi energy but 
we see that these lines are approximately parallel. So we have the same one over L scaling even in the interacting case, but refactor is much lower. And what is interesting to know is uh, how does the prefactor depends on the interaction strength. And it appears so that it decays almost linearly from 3t to 0 at, uh, to, at the, till the point where we enter the phase separation regime. Another property of the Majorana edge modes is the robustness to the perturbations. So what we can do is to study various perturbations to this model and to see how they affect the peaks of the local density of states. And we can see the three possible perturbations which break the integrability of the model. And they are the second neighbor hopping, which is described by the following Hamiltonian, following a term in the Hamiltonian, second neighbor interaction and uh, unsight disorder where u is the random number in the interval from minus w to w. And the results are shown in the following picture. The following picture. The pictures are the same. The upper pictures correspond to the local density of states for the whole chain, and the lower row corresponds to the zoom in of uh, the upper pictures. For the AB, we have second neighbor hopping, CD corresponds to second neighbor interaction, and EF corresponds to inside disorder. And we see that in all of the cases, when, while the interactions, are, the perturbation is not very strong, this zero Majorana like zero peaks zero edge mode survive. And this tells us that these peaks are robust to perturbations. Also, we should notice that these perturbations are robust, are weak in ten terms of uh, initial parameters of the system, more precisely the hoping parameter and interaction parameter, but they are not weak compared to the level splitting in the system. So they're, in this sense, they are strong, but still the peaks of uh, zero energy survive. Also, one could ask a question whether these uh, peaks are somehow related to my runners of the Kitaev model. And then I try to convince you that they certainly do. What we study is, uh, what we can do is to study the abatic connection between the uh, topological uh, gauge symmetry broken topological superconductor and our interactive model. We introduce a family of parametric Hamiltonians, H is a function of S, where S is this parameter, which is just a linear superposition of the Hamiltonian of interactive model and Kitaev model. Also, we introduce some correction to the chemical potential in order to control the number of particles during the evolution of this parameter S. And what we can look at is uh, the density of states at the first side of uh, uh, the chain as a function of S and frequency and energy. Uh, here, this uh, part corresponds to the completely uh, to the Kitaev limit, where we don't have any interactions, and here we have uh, interacting limit. So we can see that the peak uh, survives on the whole length of the chain, but there is no uh, no gap bulk gap closing in the middle. The gap, the bulk gap seems to close exactly at the po point where we turn it into completely interacting limit. And for the picture B, it is the same picture, but where we keep not chemical potential constant, but um, the 
mean number of particle constant and equal to corresponding to the quarter filling of the chain. Another thing we can do in order to verify that it is certainly related to Majoranus is to interface with 1D topological superconductor. P wave topological superconductor exactly with the Kitaev chain. So we suppose that split the chain into two parts, first of which the first part of length L prime has interaction, attractive interactions between the neighboring fermions and the rest of the side is described by the Kitaev model with the superconducting or the parameter delta. And in order to control uh, the phase of the Kitaev part of the subsystem, we introduce chemical potential, in the, different chemical potential in the Kitaev part of the chain. And here on the pictures, the lower part of the, uh, the picture correspond uh, to interacting model where we have real attractive interaction between the fermions and upper chain, upper half of the picture corresponds to Kitaev part of the chain. And when, what we see, if uh, the system Kitaev part of the system is in the topological regime, there is no peak in the middle. The peaks in the middle, which uh, could be present, which would be present if uh, there was no hoping between the, each part of the chain, if they, they were separated completely, uh, uh, annihilate each other. And uh, it is the same result as if we attached two Kitaev chains th through the strong link. And if we have a Kitaev chain in the trivial phase, then the weak peak appears at the middle uh, of the chain. So the, uh, this, uh, zero bias peaks appear at the edges of the topological phase of both interacting uh, model and Kitaev model. And this is, the, this part is topologically trivial, so there is peak in the, a peak in the middle. And also it is nice to have some analytic results of this model, so we move uh, on and uh, try to describe this model analytically using bosonization formalism for the continuous wire with attractive interaction between the, uh, with that attractive local interaction between the fermions. Here is the Hamiltonian. This first term is just a simple kinetic energy term. And this term corresponds to attractive interaction between the neighboring fermions in the continuum limit. And here we impose the zero boundary conditions on the, uh, the wire. So in order to bosonize such a system with zero boundary conditions, we're using the following trick. We introduce the auxiliary right moving field, psi r, for which through which we express the original fermionic field psi. And in the terms of psi, and this auxiliary field is uh, defined on the segment minus L till L and it obeys periodic boundary conditions which explicitly correspond to the zero boundary conditions for the real fermionic field psi. Uh, then we write the Hamiltonian in the terms of um, auxiliary, auxiliary right moving field psi r, where we uh, neglect all the terms proportional to one over k Fermi. We linearize the spectrum and we approximate the interaction with this. And this is kind of, appears kind of non-local interaction between the electrons in terms 
the interferons in terms of field psi r. Uh, is it, but this direction is, is quadratic in a density operator for term, uh, psi r field. So this uh, is, and it makes the problem exactly solvable. We perform position transformation. It is for field psi r. As usual, we introduce the bosonic, canonical bosonic operators B and B dagger, in terms of which the Hamiltonian can be written like this. It is quadratic in bosonic operators, and also it contains the number of excess particles with respect to the Fermi level, to the Fermi C of fermions, uh, more precisely, the ground state of uh, the non interacting wire. What we can do is to do Bogolubov transformation for bosons and write down the Hamiltonian in the diagonal way. And then using uh, the, for, uh, the expression for psi r and psi r dagger, one can uh, calculate the local density of states. And the local density of states is uh, given by the formal following expression. It is, uh, can be expressed through the greater and lesser Green's function of the system. And the map of local density of states for G equal to V Fermi is uh, shown in the figure here. And this is just a zoom in of this picture. So again, we can see uh, the peaks of local density of states at zero energy at the edges of the wire, which let us, allows us to think that this uh, system hosts my run like modes. Of course, the uh, picture overall itself doesn't look quite similar to what we had for uh, discrete chain with uh, uh, treated by transit network algorithms, but still we have this zero bias peaks. And what is interesting from this Hamiltonian on the previous slide, we can figure out the mini gap in the local density of states. And it appears to be equal to this expression. And again, it is proportional to one over L as we had for the this chain of this discrete chain of attracting fermions. And the prefactor is linear in the linear decays from the Fermi to zero till we enter the phase separation regime. So even though the model is different, is a bit different, the result is qualitatively the same. So the result, finally, we have demonstrated the emergence of robust run like edge modes in the many body quantum system without superconductivity uh, and rationalized it using bosonization of formalism and with matrix product states numerically. So th thank you for attention. That's uh, all I have. You're welcome to ask the questions. Yes, you can go ahead. Yeah, maybe you have told, maybe not. Uh, so what was the physical um, uh, mo model or like physical phenomenon that uh, allows for this uh, nearest neighbor, so not next neighbor hopping? Next neighbor hopping, I didn't tell the physics, I just uh, uh, a perturbation which we considered which breaks into integrability but for example the the wave function in the if we keep in mind the time binding model then we have for example low decay in overlap integral between the uh, orbitals mm, okay because like then it seems like it is uh, in all systems should be present no well, of course, the long range hopping is, should like, be present in all systems, but uh, it 
it's a matter of it's a question of parameters is the question of how this t prime is compared to t or v or whatever other parameters in the system but then maybe, maybe negligibly small then maybe you can just have an anovir and then a gate near it and then put it closer or further this will this would change whether it is long range interaction or short range interaction and in such a way you can reach my arana regime mm. You know how it's usually like you put the gate near the nanowire, it cuts Coulomb interaction, and uh, uh, so. Well, I thought the gate uh, nice the nanowire uh, changed the chemical potential and it allows to transfer between uh, topological and trivial phases of the wire. It also cuts like Coulomb interaction because uh, metal doesn't allow electric field to go through. Okay. Um, okay, anyway, maybe <laughs> maybe I will think about it. <laughs> Let's see. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, please go ahead. Yeah, so I have one question related to this. When you interface the, your chain with P, could I P with superconductor? Can you go back to that? Uh, yes. Yeah, uh, it's here. So, so w w when you do that, you have only one let's say the age, no, sorry, the one, one of the states are disappeared and one of them are still there. Isn't the Myron or zero mode comes in pairs? Well, so why one is disappear and one still exists? And related to that, uh, if it's uh, really Myron, then it's, uh, it's a protected. So it should, the states should just move in, not just disappear, is it? Well, the Majorana state disappears from the center, but there is a Majorana state from the Kitaev at the very edge of Kitaev's part of the chain. So there is a, still a pair of the uh, Majoranas here and here. Maybe it's hard to see it from here. Yeah. But uh, again, in, if we interface the chain with the uh, trivial uh, Kitaev yeah. chain, we have a pair of Majoranas. One of this is the edge, but another is the center at the interface with Kitaev part of the chain. Mm. Okay, so so maybe I missed it. I don't know. What's the difference between the Majoranas you have in one system to the other? Is there any difference? Well, we're trying to uh, show that they are certainly related to each other, that there is no not much difference of between them. The difference is in the scaling with the length of the, the chain. It mm -hmm. is weaker because there is no gap in the system. And uh, okay. then we have one of L scaling instead of exponential. Mm -hmm. Okay, thanks. Um, Vasily, I think that there's one question in the chat. Okay. Bye. Yeah, I, I can also ask it in, in out aloud. So, uh, so if I understood correctly, so you, the, the model you constructed in this Tomonaga Lattinger liquid with positive interactions in this certain regime of the phase space. Yes. Right. So, so do you have any suggestions? Would be what would be a a real uh, like a experimental realization of this? Well, uh, it is hard to uh, implement such short range attractive interaction in a solid state uh, compounds, but one can think about the spin implementation of this model where we have um, anti-ferromagnetic interaction in xy plane and uh, ferromagnetic interaction in z plane in z axis but it is difficult then to get access to the fermionic uh, correlation function uh, spectral function also one could think about the cold atom experiments where we can uh, uh, have a 1d wire with a short range attractive interaction between the atoms Okay, yeah, thanks.
Um, the, there's one comment in the chat, which is that the charge condo effect, not the spin version, actually can serve as an attractive center. Sorry, I don't see the chat. Okay. Any more questions? Uh, yeah, I have one. Um, I saw in one of your slides where you showed the local and stuff states that uh, apparently you have some sort of uh, broken uh, particle hole symmetry. Uh, I mean, uh, I I'm just wondering if uh, for those situations you still uh, have an adiabatic connection with the type model. Yes, even if we have particle broken particle hole symmetry, then we still have a diabetic connection. For example, this uh, big picture, we keep the number of particles uh, at quarter filling, and we still have the zero bias peaks at the whole uh, interval where, where we connect these models. All right. OK, thank you. Any more questions? If not, then let's finish this talk. Thank you for attention. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.